Hey, welcome back to Simplify Mechanic. My name's Thomas. In this video, I'm talking about how I'm getting sued by some piece of shit because he didn't listen to me. And out of most of my stories, none of them are really recent. But this one, this one's real recent. This is happening in real time. But the job actually happened about two months ago. I got called out to do a diagnosis on the 2008 Lincoln MKZ. No start condition. They couldn't get the vehicle to start. So once I arrive on scene, I start diagnosing the vehicle. And after diagnosing it for maybe about a half hour, 45 minutes, I came to the conclusion that it was a timing chain. So I go and tell the guy, hey, got some bad news for you. You need to do the timing chain. We need to do the cam sprockets, everything, the whole kit and caboodle. And then I give the guy a price. I charge him $700 for parts and labor. Now given, I found these parts for about $200, $250 at AutoZone. I'm making $500 on this job, which is a good deal. Anybody that knows anything about timing chains, especially on the Lincoln MKZs. Well, this guy goes back and forth with me. He didn't even want to pay the 500. Like he was blown away by that price. And he asked me to break down the price, parts and labor. And I broke it down. I said, all right, labor's going to be about 500 and the parts between 200, 250, depending. He said, $200 for a timing chain, really? And I said, no, it ain't just the timing chain. I said, we got the timing chain. We got the crankshaft sprockets. We got the camshaft sprocket. There's three guides, a tensioner arm, belt tensioner. So, so there's like seven or eight different things here. And he did not want to do that. He says, no, 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 let's not worry about all that other stuff. Let's just do the timing chain. And I explained to him, that's a very bad idea. I said, cause I can't give you a warranty on any of this. I said, if I do this timing chain and it's only the timing chain, there is zero warranty. And I had him sign a contract saying zero warranty. I told him I could offer him a six month warranty if he gets all the parts that are included. But he didn't want to do any of that. He just wanted to do the timing chain. So that's all we do. We replace it for him. Job goes okay. Everything's fine. He makes the payment. I don't hear from him. And it's been a few months. Our daughters go to the same school, Christian private school. We was over there for an open house or something. I forget what we was over there for. And I see him. And he's mean mugging me like i'm throwing him a wave and he's like just not even looking at me or like side eyeing me i was like what the hell is going on well now i know because today i received the lawsuit the lawsuit was scheduled for the second that was last week so i have already missed the trial date we didn't receive the letter till afterwards well it's the weekend i can't do anything so i can't call the courthouse and try to figure it out I did look it up online and there's nothing else. It doesn't show that he attended or anything like that. So hopefully he missed because come Monday, I have to call and try to get all this figured out and get something rescheduled. Hopefully they didn't just do a default win for him because I didn't show. Anyway, as I'm reading the complaint of why he's suing me, the lawsuit is for $4,500 or $4,600. I'm like, what in the hell? I said, we did the timing chain. We only charged him $300, $350. He made payment. What's going on? One month after we replaced it, he's driving down the road and the timing chain jumps time. He hears this horrible noise into his engine, calls the tow truck, gets it towed to a shop. The shop looks at it, comes back, tell him, hey, sir, you need a whole new engine. Your timing chain has jumped. The valves and the pistons hit each other and it has bent your valves and your pistons are damaged. You need a whole new motor. So that is what he's suing me over for the cost of the engine. Now, if he would have listened to me and got everything replaced, like I said in the beginning, this would not have happened. But he went the cheap route and look what happened now. I have all the paperwork. I have what he signed. I have the initial quote of what I told him and I videotaped the job. So I'm not worried about that. The only thing I am worried about is the trial date was the second. Here it is the 8th, 9th, 10th, whatever today's date is. It's a week late. Like how the hell? What if they've already done a default judgment on him and I have to pay $5,000 all because I didn't receive it in time? So it's shit like this that makes you not even want to do this job anymore. You got to put up with all this bullshit. I told the customer one thing. He does something else and the fucking engine blows up and he wants to sue me. 
Like sometimes you think it's not even worth this anymore. Look, I am retired from the Marine Corps. I get my retirement check. If I had to, I don't have to do this job anymore. I don't have to do any fucking job anymore, you know? And when things like this happen, it makes you not want to do it. You know, I did this, I started being a mechanic actually because it helped me with PTSD. It kept my mind busy when I was struggling. And now people like this are taking enjoyment away from me, you know? And now it's causing more stress. More stress than it's worth, really. So here it is Saturday. I gotta worry for the next couple of days till I can contact the courts and figure out what's going on. I have my son this weekend. I don't get my son a lot, you know? And when I do, I wanna be able to focus on him. And shit like this, this fucking irks me, man. I treat people right. And then somebody does this to me, man, it's hard. So guys, I don't know what's going to happen. I'll put another video out Monday, letting you guys know the update. If I find anything out, Just look out for that next video. I'm going to actually, I'm going to let you guys meet my son here in a second. He hasn't been in one of my videos. His name is Braylon. He's 12 years old and I am very, very proud of him. If you enjoyed this video, like and comment and share with your friends. If you haven't already, subscribe with notifications on. Why not? Just subscribe, because I'm cute. And like always, Simplify till next time.